Welcome to Foundations TV, everybody. We are here in the green room waiting for Guruji Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, who has just finished up a round of meditation mm -hmm. in Boston mm -hmm. University. And uh, we are here to uh, talk to him about certain uh, ideas that he may have. Uh, we are blessed to have him here, and we were waiting actually for him to join us in a few minutes. <laughs> Such a blessing to have you here in Boston. I think we all have must have done something to uh, you know to see you here after ten years. So, how has your experience been in Boston? See, I come to give experiences. <laughs> Wherever I go, I would I spread the positive vibrations, bring happiness, bring people together. Places don't matter to me. Neither the place nor time. Very sweet, very sweet. And I also really liked the answer you gave over there when someone asked you what makes you happy and you said, I am happiness. That's so beautiful. If each one of us can feel that, it's really beautiful. Um, Guruji, can you say, uh, can you share some details about the, the piece um, that you brought around in Colombia? We would love to hear how that, how that uh, you know, attracted you and how you got involved in that whole process. In Colombia, we have been doing work for past uh, 10 years in the poorest of the poor community because there are 2 million people who lost their life and their families are there and then 7 million people who are displaced. So our foundation has been active there for past nearly 10 years, 9-10 years. So last year, uh, they offered, they uh, honored me with their highest civilian award. So I had to go there to receive it when I was. After that uh, award ceremony, there was a formal meeting with the president. Just, just you know, a formal say hello. But that formal meeting, which was supposed to be there for five minutes, lasted for about an hour. Uh, the president was very concerned. He was a little worried. That he, thought, he thought a military option seemed to be the only go because the peace talks was not going anyway. And you know, military option means uh, 40, 50,000 lives will be lost on both sides and every side. So I told him, why not I make an effort? See what we can do. So then I went to Cuba. Then first uh, the rebel group, because they, they believe in communist ideology, uh, they were a little reluctant. But when they know that I'm from India, okay, they said reluctantly they uh, gave an appointment and met with me, the whole group. And then the talk, um, I told them, look, if social justice is your goal, I'm there for you, we're all there for you, everybody is there for you. But if you adopt non-violent means to achieve it, what we cannot take is the violence that you are doing. So on this, uh, I, I'm, I told them, I do understand, they are victims too. They are victims of 
injustice for a long time. So three days of our deliberation and we did some meditation. On the last day, they came up with me on the stage to the press conference. They announced unilateral ceasefire. So then the peace talks started moving. In fact, you can see there is a video that recently they made. They felt how meditation has helped them to understand themselves and the world better. That is truly amazing. Now, there are so many other problems that are currently happening in the world and growing, ever growing, like ISIS, for example. So, do you think those can also be solved at the macro level, micro level, using the power of meditation? Uh, <clears throat> you know, the there are people who are open to reason and there are people who are not open to reason. Those who are not open to reason, they first have to go into the prison. Then they will listen. Those who are open to reason, we can anyway definitely talk to them. So we should uh, keep all our options open. Definitely meditation has a power. That's what, you know, the South American press asked me this question. What is that that you said that they agreed? when they did not agree with U.S. intervention, they did not agree when Norway intervened, when everybody else intervened, they were not uh, agreeing for it. What is that something that you said that makes it? I said, it's not what I said, it's who says it makes a difference. So when we go with a positive attitude and with a positive vibration, our heart is pure, our intentions are clear, success is for sure. Now, if I may, as a last question, with your due permission, if I may ask you a personal question. You have attained so much in your life and you are giving so much to so many thousands and millions of people. What is your personal goal? Where are you headed from here? You know, if I have had a goal, if I had to achieve something more in life, then I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Wow. <laughs> So I have nothing more to achieve, I have nothing to do. All that I am here to share what I have. So beautiful, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to Foundations TV, everyone. We are here on location in Boston University, talking to a few people who have attended the Get Happy Immersive Camp, two-day camp, with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. And we have with us Vinita, who has been one of the organizers of the event. Vinita, welcome to Foundations TV. Thank you, Gauri. And uh, can you tell us how your experience was in uh, organizing an event such as this one? Yeah, sure. So when, you know, when the idea first came that we should have a Get Happy Boston event with Sri Sri Ravi Shankar here, we thought that we should really do it big, right? So this should be the largest meditation event in Boston, 1,500 people. And normally to organize an event of that scale, people put in months of effort and so much stress and, you know, all that goes around. And here it was completely different. With a lead time of only, say, five to seven weeks, we had to put a large event together. But fortunately, we have an enthusiastic enthusiastic team of um, around 100 Art of Living volunteers and it just, it, it felt like it was all happening, things came together nicely, you know, the organizers of Get Happy were happy themselves, so it felt like, it, it, it just flew. <laughs> so what was your personal experience being part of this camp? I'm, I'm amazed to see, uh, you know, how, so it's, you know, at, as a part of this Get Happy camp and all the workshops that we do all around Boston, it's really amazing to see, uh, you know, people's faces when they first come to the course and there is a little bit of you know, stress or maybe anxiety and as they leave the course there are all these faces beaming with happiness and it's, uh, I've seen that even today, you know, so many happy faces in the pr you know, presence of Sri Sri, some amazing questions, great knowledge, some music and it feels like a biggest party, you know, you, we, we get a different kind of high on meditation. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Vinita, for sharing your experience. Welcome to Foundations TV, everybody. We are here with a volunteer 
Rishabh, and he has also been a participant of this huge camp for the last two days. So first of all, welcome to Foundations TV. Thank you, and you guys do amazing work. I always see your work on Facebook. It's so good that you're promoting so many different diverse things. So uh, I'm very happy to join you and finally meet you in person. I've seen you on social media a lot, and now finally I see you, so I'm very happy to. Same here. Very nice to meet you as well and thank you for your kind appreciation. So, how was your experience here being a volunteer, first of all? How was that experience? You know what, it's like, it's, it amazes me that everybody who was volunteering, including me, we had so much fun doing this. It was not work, like I was, I, I was going home at 12 o'clock, uh, last two or three days, and coming back here again at one, uh, you know, in the morning and it didn't feel like work. It was because everybody was cheerful and nobody was like, you know, I am, I want to do less or I want, or this person is not doing. Everybody is doing their, their job, not for any particular reason, just because they have benefited from this and they are happy. So, uh, from what I understand, you were all happy doing it before the camp started. So, did the happiness quotient went up after the camp? Uh, most certainly, I actually took some time. I have to tell you a little bit uh, guilty that. In the last thing, I did the did the kriya myself and did the meditations fully. Even though some of us were supposed to help the volunteers, but I enjoyed doing that. And uh, definitely, even though I've heard Guruji speak, you know, kind of the same things many times. I listen to him on YouTube, but each time you you need to reinforce these things because they're they're actually very basic things. Something that your grandmother, my grandmother, used to tell all these knowledge thing herself, but. Every time you hear him from pray from him, especially after a meditation, it seems to sink a little bit deeper. Yeah. That is nice to hear. It was truly my first experience actually being so close to him and being I did speak to a few volunteers and participants before, but just seeing Guruji I think was an experience in itself and I'm sure. Yeah, he's kind of cool. He's like just a, he's very regular. That's what I like about him because you know yeah, he, he's not very, you know, like a one of those pundits or somebody who try to show that they know so much or they will speak in a certain language which you will not understand the, or he, or it's too religious that may, may turn off some people. It's very common day wisdom. He doesn't pretend that he has all the answers. A lot of times he's, he will say, guess what, I don't know this. I'm not married. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not qualified to answer this. But, uh, yeah, so, so, or... He won't talk about research, he won't talk about certain things that, he, although he himself, actually he is an engineer in physics, but it's certain, he will say, say, talk to the people who have done the research. So, he's cool. He's a cool guru. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Thank you so much, Rishabh. Thank you, Gauri. Yeah. Thank you for being here and being part of so many things in uh, New England. We, it's very good to see not only Art of Living, everything. So, thank you for your service. Welcome to Foundations TV, everyone. We have here with us a participant, Rama, who has just come out of the meditation from Art of Living right here in Boston University. Welcome to Foundations TV, Rama. Oh, thank you so much. Tell us how your experience was. Yeah, I started uh, like uh, doing uh, Kriya and Art of Living courses in 2010. And uh, it was an amazing experience. And I was going through some like personal health issues and whenever I did like Kriya, Sudarshan Kriya, I felt very ener energetic and then it kept me like going on and it gave me a lot of strength. So like I was at a stage like okay, I could take anything. So that is the strength and energy I got from Kriya, Sudarshan Kriya, Art of Silence, all these courses. So. It really helped me to move forward in my life. Thank you so much. How was your experience meeting Guruji? Oh, actually, uh, these two days, uh, I'm with Guruji, like uh, in cooking team, and then uh, it was really amazing experience. Like I had like one-on-one -on -one with Guruji, and uh, the feeling is like when you go in front of him, it's like mind goes blank and with a lot of like happiness and all that and it is like I cannot describe it in words you know the ha happiness I get just looking at him and he's so sweet like yesterday he served food to everybody like dinner 
uh, then he ate first and then like after that he's like volunteers to date but all other people also came in the hotel he's staying he served like personally to everybody so that was a like amazing experience yeah so yeah good time having good time thank you it's good to know thank you rama we catch your mind from all sides so that it just sits very really peaceful post